on a more cheerful note for Flash fans, Adobe <laughs> is finally, finally bringing support to hardware acceleration for Flash videos. That means on your, say, oh, an Atom-powered home theater PC, you can use the NVIDIA GPU to render that video instead of crushing that little tiny Wii processor. It also means that if you have a notebook that offers video acceleration on the GPU, you should be able to watch Flash without burning your thighs, overtax. I Actually, you might still heat up the notebook, but it will decode it as a smooth stream rather than a choppy video right. presentation, which is currently what happens on underpowered systems trying to decode high resolution video. Because <laughs> basically you can suck up a huge amount of your, your CPU, which means your fan usually fires up. You yeah. Know, the whirring noise, turning up the headphones. Like uh, on my gaming box, it, it'll decode that stuff no problem on the right. CPU. It's, but on my portable devices or small computers. There's better things for your CPU to be used for at this point than decoding video. Why not Definitely. lay that off to the GPU? Definitely. NVIDIA ATI, I don't care. Just lay the it off to the GPU. <laughs> <laughs> the big trick, though, is that you have to install the 10.1 beta, and yes, it's beta. Version 2, I believe, is out now of the Flash 10.1 file, and you basically just do a search for Adobe Flash beta, and you'll take you right to the link you need, yeah. and cross your fingers, install. They're even working on 64-bit support for Linux. Oh, so cool. That's really cool. Hopefully, this will spell better things for Flash support for more platforms in the future. Otherwise, I think we're all going to migrate to HTML5 real soon. <laughs>